Question number 20, Councillor Mrs Leonie Cooper. Member for Environment, Culture and Community Safety. For the question. Um, I do hope there isn't uh, an unhelpful mixing of two distinct issues uh, here, one short term, um, one longer term, strategic and much more important uh, in the long run. Um, as the answer lays out, uh, we do indeed have uh, a short term resource issue in terms of PCSOs, uh, which I myself identified uh, and which I find uh, unacceptable and very frustrating, but it is correcting. Uh, the longer term context uh, is much more positive. Uh, and as the answer explains, uh, we will see a shift of resources under the local policing model uh, toward neighbourhood teams, which uh, can only be a good thing. His uh, reply, um, but he might not be surprised to know that, bearing in mind my own current set of personal um, set of crimes perpetrated against me, that I have been particularly concerned about uh, policing levels. And uh, instead of having the three two one, three PCSOs, two PCs, and one sergeant in the first down team, um, is he aware that we only have two PCSOs, one um, PC, and half a sergeant? So we are very short. And I would uh, commend that team for the work that they've done in terms of um, pursuing the various crimes that are being committed not just against me but against other members of the public in First Down. But I do think that there is an issue in terms of uh, people's concern locally. Uh, and I, He probably won't be surprised to hear that either. I do mention in this, in my question, resources for the police, not just staffing. And there are concerns, as he's also aware, that police stations may be closed. Can he please give some assurance to us that um, he feels that staff resources and other resources are going to be sufficient ongoing into the future? And I'm not confusing the short term with the medium or the long term. I think these are concerns that are widespread. Could he please give us those assurances? For the supplementary question, um, and I, I would uh, just like to uh, say I, I'm sure we all uh, extend our uh, concern for what's uh, recently happened. I think uh, those of us who know about it sound like a, a truly dreadful experience. Um, yes, I am, I am very much uh, aware of uh, the concern uh, about uh, safer neighbourhood teams that are below strength, uh, and that is precisely why uh, at every opportunity uh, I press the borough commander uh, and in fact we have taken it to uh, the deputy mayor for policing uh, Stephen Greenhalge uh, because we do feel that uh, Wandsworth has been very ill served by uh, the recruitment policy that the Metropolitan Police uh, put in place some months ago. Um, ourselves and one other borough uh, had a huge number of our PCOs, PCSOs taken away. Uh, we were told because they were very good and therefore qualified to go on to the, P the PC training regime. Um, one wonders what would have happened if, uh, if all of our PCSOs had applied and qualified, would they have all gone? Um, it, clearly a bit of a nonsense. Um, I'm extremely well aware of, of the gaps that has, has created. But what I would say uh, in terms of, of numbers uh, isn't in this answer here. Uh, we are currently over complement on PCs um, to the tune of around about 12, I believe. So the gap isn't quite as, as large as it, as it appears here. Um, but I, I am very much aware of the concern and take it extremely seriously. Second supplementary. To be effective. We want them to patrol the streets where they're needed and to catch criminals. Does he think that we might be in danger of being sidetracked by operational changes and we might lose sight of what's really important to residents of Wandsworth and victims of crime? Yes, absolutely. And I think probably one of the most important themes uh, is flexibility. Uh, we shouldn't allow ourselves to get hung up on too many structures uh, that perhaps we've been very attached to over the years. The most important thing is boots on the ground and responding uh, immediately uh, to, uh, to people's concerns, residents' concerns. I don't believe residents are, are too bothered how that happens, just so long as the police uh, get on with the job and respond. Uh, thank the, uh, the councillor for the question. Um, the, uh, the answer lays out the, uh, the latest information on what has now become a, uh, a centralised investigation. Um, I am particularly pleased to see that uh, there's certainly been no let-up. Um, investigations are ongoing, as they should be, uh, and I think the, uh, the, the, uh, the answer uh, lays out the, uh, the latest statistics. The Cabinet Member for the uh, answer and for the information that has been secured from the police. Um, I think residents are always interested, in fact, in the consequences of criminal activity and also the detection rates as well as some of the other statistics that we see. 
Uh, so will he therefore uh, ensure that uh, regular, say six monthly updates about the criminal incidents in the Clapham Junction area continue to be secured um, and so that residents can be assured that those responsible for that action are still being uh, chased and prosecuted. Thank you. Something that happens, I'm seeing the, uh, the Barrack Commander first thing tomorrow morning. Very happy to raise that. Supplementary, Mr. Mayor. Um, I say so, a little bit limited. Um, last year we had a full report and reports from the Chief Executive. I'm not expecting that, but can we have a committee report with a bit more meat, like uh, convicted of what and what the average sentence and, uh, and general residence? I mean, my, my constituents seem to have got a lot of the blame. Possibly they deserve it, but maybe they all lived in Northcote. Um, uh, all sorts of things that we don't know about Outside them. The and perhaps, uh, perhaps we could have a fuller report. I, uh, I'm not aware of any ward breakdown of, uh, of uh, culprits, uh, but happy to look at that, yes, for the community report. For her question, the statistics she asked for are shown in the list. Um, I would actually sort of comment really about her, her term so-called under-occupying. Um, clearly a lot of people are under-occupying, uh, but I think what's equally of concern is uh, that the number of people who are definitely uh, uh, over-occupying uh, is very roughly equivalent to the number of uh, under-occupiers. Uh, and if we can encourage people to move uh, from uh, properties that are too large for them to smaller properties, uh, then that will actually help the overcrowding uh, considerably. There had been some discussion with some colleagues, uh, and I was also aware that there had been uh, views expressed at the Borough Residence Forum, but thank you for that information. Can I just ask if um, special arrangements are going to be put in place in the wards with the highest numbers of people who are under occupying, um, which appears, according to this, to be the Latchmere Ward, the Roehampton Ward, the West Hill Ward, and the West Putney Wards. Um, will there be um, particular attention paid to those areas? Um, thank you very much. Uh, will be treated uh, on its merits, and, and it is uh, inevitable that uh, there probably will be more dealings with residents in, in the wards that Councillor Cooper stated because the numbers are uh, what they are. Details of the paper. But does this exclude uh, pensioners or not? Is this a complete list of under occupation or just of non pensioner occupation? The answer is not very clear on that. By the, uh, the welfare reform changes. 23 to the Cabinet Member for Education and Children's Services. Um, I thank the uh, Councillor for the question. I'm absolutely delighted um, that she asked it. Um, this is a particularly um, good story for Wandsworth, and um, I'd like to take the opportunity, particularly, of commending the Department on the terrific work they've done over the last three or four years in making sure that the children that attend our schools have the best possible start in life. And supplementary, Mr. Moach, that this education authority has taken to improving standards in schools will go a long way to redefining its role as a vital independent arbiter of standards as more of our schools move towards academy status. That's patently obvious, and um, the fact that uh, those schools that have gone down the route of academy status are, in fact, um, all buying back into the um, service because they believe it delivers what they require is um, very good for the department. Second supplementary, Mr. Mayor. Um, would the cabinet member agree with me that, uh, apart from the excellent performance of education officers over many years, what this actually demonstrates is that when we follow a personalisation agenda in education and replace the state's monopoly that we took over from the Inland Education Authority, the quality of service flies. And I wonder whether the cabinet member sees any uh, a parallel between that and what we were discussing earlier today uh, with reference to adult social care when exactly the same principles are involved. Um, that uh, there's no doubt about it that when we embarked on the choice and diversity of our schools and uh, when we took over Familia we did create um, a model that parents undoubtedly um, uh, totally bought into happily the schools bought into it as well and it helped raise um, the standards to excellence as they were competing for um, the parental choice um, I mean I think it's uh, uh, we get criticised as a uh, borough because of our um, lack of um, first preferences but actually we ought to be commended for it that so many people want to come and uh, be educated in Wandsworth that it's difficult to satisfy demand. Uh, yes I thank the uh, 
member for the question. Um, it, I mean, the answer is, as is um, factual here, um, what uh, needs to be stressed is that uh, uh, it is unfair on the market for childcare for the council to be subsidising places which the government is also subsidising, thus creating, um, uh, uh, I was going to say a French type of subsidy, uh, but creating a, a double subsidy for some families. Uh, Councillor Tracy for that answer. Um, I'm concerned that the 83 um, families with more than one child using this form of childcare um, are not aware that actually there's going to be an increase of 104% in their costs from the um, 1st of January. Something like £35 extra a week for each subsequent child. Um, with the end of term approaching, what steps have been taken to warn parents and publicise the increase and does the council expect the take up of these places to go down? For the question, families have um, uh, more than one child doesn't affect the uh, subsidy that the government gives them via the tax system. That is the same for each child. We introduced the um, subsidies when we first went into holiday childcare um, before the child care credits were introduced by the government um, and all we are doing now is actually um, correcting a situation where we are double subsidizing all the families that use this system know we've we've um, taken um, a very gradual approach to this this is the end of a, a three-year leveling so families have been well aware of this for the last couple of years and this is the final um, uh, leveling to make sure that um, the subsidy has been withdrawn. But the role of the voluntary and the third sector in providing uh, some of these childcare and holiday facilities is actually <coughs> crucial and that therefore it ill behoves really the minority party to try and run scaremongering stories um, about a system which we are trying to balance where the focus of funds and benefits should actually go to with the government subsidising those that really do need help. And of course he is absolutely right. It uh, it is wrong for the council as a, 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 with the council tax to be putting in a subsidy which actually disadvantages the voluntary sector and the private sector um, in the same way and since the government has brought in the child um, care allowance there is no need for the double subsidy any longer finance and corporate resources Members have noticed there is a recommendation before us late tonight for a new council tax support scheme which essentially uh, will replicate most of the features of the existing <laughs> scheme and will therefore be protecting those on low incomes. Supplementary? Indeed. Not only would the council tax be much higher, but our ability to provide this sort of assistance to the least well off would be threatened. The reason we've been able to do this is because our council tax is low and therefore the cost of providing this extra support is also relatively low. And it comes back to the fundamental point that in providing a low council tax for our residents, we are not, as some would have it, helping out the rich. We are actually helping out those who don't have too much money and may find life be a bit difficult. And that's why having a low council tax is so absolutely right. And this just demonstrates it. And it would be very nice if uh, the uh, council has also uh, used its largesse with its council tax on the uh, uh, receivers of uh, Meals on Wheels. ...under the previous government. Uh, ...that uh, in fact the steepling rise in bed and breakfast and owner occupation uh, started in the early major years and it peaked in about 98 and Labour started resolving it um, and uh, the expenditure this council had on bed and breakfast at that time was just horrendous but it was largely thanks to the actions of the Tory government uh, Mr Major answer sets out it's sometimes slightly difficult to compare uh, like expenditures with like expenditures but what is very clear that even after today's announcements is that this council and indeed local government as a whole is saving considerably more money than some of the spendthrift uh, areas of central government are doing the Labour Party opposite decrying cuts when actual national government expenditure this year is 674 billion and it's 720 next year where are those cuts? Of course, this is the Labour Party great myth, isn't it? That uh, the government is cutting too much, too quickly. What is the government actually cutting at the moment? Something like 
uh, 6% over five years. Nobody can pretend that that total level of reduction is too much and too far. If anything, it is too little and it is too slow. Second supplementary. Councillor. I'm, I'm very surprised uh, to hear Councillor Senior say that uh, he, you know, he welcomes the cuts and would rather see further ones and would champion the cuts that this council has made. Uh, we've seen community centres closed. Uh, we've seen people, housing, levels of uh, homelessness going up. We've seen uh, libraries almost being closed and all sorts of cuts. <laughs> all, almost. Almost. Only thanks to the campaign. Members, order, open. order. Yet. And you haven't even finished yet. Are you saying to the residents of Wandsworth that you're absolutely happy to have made the cuts that you've made so far uh, and that uh, the cuts that are to come, as we see, several million more over the next few years, uh, are, are simply par for the course and you'll be happy to make them? Modest reductions in government expenditure, local government is probably taking a disproportionate hit. But I'm, a, well, no, I'm not astonished, I'm not surprised at all uh, by the attitude from the Labour Party, who we know are in complete and utter denial about the state of government finances. The state of government finances is disgraceful, frankly. It is a lot better than it was, but we still are running a budget deficit. We are still bequeathing enormous debts to, to successive generations. And if we followed the policy of the National Labour Party, well actually the government debt would be continuing to increase year on year, where at least we're beginning to do something to get it down. And the sooner we get government debt down, the better. The sooner we'll stop wasting money on the interest to pay on that debt, and the sooner we're able to reduce the burdens that the government puts on this country. How bizarre is it that the Labour Party wants to continue to increase debt and continue to increase the payments that we have to make for it? Yeah.